grand rising loves this is the altar spread for the collective today the sacred geometry that is shown up today is the crossing over this is the expansion of the flower of life if you see and it talks about connecting with other dimensions like angels and spirit guides and those spirits that we have shared other lives with as well as this life that have already crossed over into that accessible dimension for guidance and for messages but this showed up in the reverse so in the reverse it brings in a message of imminent loss this can even be a loss of self a rebirthing of self a death and rebirth of self or a death of someone near and dear to you and so knowing that those things are actually a graduation not in fact a loss at all so to go into those instead with an open heart not a closed mind or detached energetic feeling like maybe it's a punishment or something horrible has happened but to instead see that as a spiritual gift. Everything is happening for you, not to you. And we plan our exit points. We also plan our growth. And so there is nothing that's happening that's a surprise to your spirit. When you are fully aligned, these things are taken in stride. It's when you are portraying a version of you that is not authentic or in highest integrity. It's a disconnected version of yourself, a programmed version of yourself that things create angst. These events create huge disharmony and it's because you are misaligned. The Sweat Lodge talks about entering a space of deep, darkness and connection. The sweat lodge um, represents actually the wound of mother. And so when you enter a sweat, for those of you who have never had that experience, it is intensely hot and lava rocks are brought in, are heated first in a fire and brought into the lodge. And you are brought to this brink of physical destruction but what it does is it completely amplifies your spirit so that you can rebirth so crawling out of the lodge at the end is a rebirthing it's like coming out of the wound of mother into a space of life that's rebirthing yourself and you do get to see those things that are no longer serving you so they can be burned off in the lodge it's a beautiful process, but the sweat lodge showing up is telling you to do that, to bring yourself into those deeper spaces and see what needs to die or be released to move into this next phase. So it very much is repeating the message of the crossing over, the expanded flower of life, that there, there are sandbags that need to be cut off of your hot air balloon to gain the loft that you need to move forward. And Spinel brings the message of hope. The only thing that is constant in the human experience is change, evolution. There's nothing you can do to stop that. But there is something you can do to change the way you react to change. And like I said, there is nothing that's a surprise to your spirit. You have chosen everything before you came here. And so when you're completely aligned, everything becomes effortless. And so hope is about that. Hope is about not knowing what's to come, but knowing that everything is planned or that everything has a reason and that everything is for you, not to you. And so I love this message from Spinel, having hope that you can move past any rough spot and know that you're going to come out into that beautiful light because everything is meant to be. And even after a, a 
healthy shuffle, Ponopono has showed up again, the immeasurable power of the heart way. And so just to, again, reiterate the message of the ancient practice of Ho'oponopono is being 100% responsible. This is about accountability, responsibility, and righting wrongs, setting everything back to zero, taking everything back to the original state before creation, before we created our reality, because everything that shows up was created by you and you're holding some space deep within yourself that has created it. And so Ho'oponopono is about accepting that responsibility. And when people hear that, um, this is why so many people cannot connect with the practice of Ho'oponopono because saying I'm sorry is hard for so many because guilt is a dirty, ugly thing. Responsibility is a dirty, ugly thing in the programmed self. But the highest spiritual self knows there's no such thing as dirty or ugly or good or wonderful. It just is. Everything just is. Everything just is. And so when something shows up, it's a beautiful thing to take responsibility, to say, I created this and now let me clear it. It's time for this to go back to zero. For me to admonish the energy that this has created, I take it away and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone sharing this experience with me because everyone is me. And I'm so sorry for rejecting any part of myself. That's what that says. So please, let's take a collective breath, unifying our energy again, releasing with an audible sigh. Close your eyes and stay connected to my voice. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me.